Good morning, friends. How are you today? Happy Monday. This morning, I'm studying the book of Daniel, and there is so much wisdom to be gained in the book of Daniel. Have you ever felt like it's difficult to be in this world, but not of this world? Well, Daniel lived in a culture seems like pretty similar to what we live in today, where the majority of the people, they were not worshiping the one true God. They were instead worshiping statues and idols. They were worshiping people. But, but Daniel, he stayed true to his faith. And even when this decree was issued that um, nobody could, could worship, that the, the king issued this decree that nobody could worship God, that they could only pray to the king. And if they did, then they would be thrown into the lion's den. Daniel still stayed true to his faith. And it says in scripture in Daniel chapter six, verse 10, three times a day, he got down on his knees and prayed, giving thanks to his God, just as he had done before. So Daniel's faith was unwavering, even when everybody was against him, even when he could have very easily been killed by the lions. Of course, he trusted God to protect him. He trusted God to close the lion's mouth, but he didn't know for sure if God was going to do that. But kind of like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, Daniel probably thought like, even if the lions kill me, I'd, I'd rather that happen um, than worship than than worship a human being. And God's favor was on Daniel, and Daniel was able to interpret dreams. He was given lots of wisdom from God, and he had this close personal relationship with the Lord, and and he was. He was um, raised into these different positions of authority in, in the kingdom that he lived in because it was evident to other people who didn't even know God that, that there was something special about Daniel. And don't you pray that people see that in us as well as Christ followers, that even though we're in the world, that they would notice that there's something different about them, that they don't seem of this world. And I pray that that even though times can be really tough in the culture that we're living in, where the world just wants to sway us and suck us into this and suck us into that and kind of glaze over sin, that, that we would still get down on our knees. Daniel did it three times a day. Get down on our knees, pray, and give thanks to God, no matter what. Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for the wisdom that we can glean from the book of Daniel. And I pray that you would continue to reveal more and more um, to us about how Daniel lived his life in a culture that was similar to our culture today, where many people don't worship you, Lord, where many people choose their own path, where many people build their own idols, Lord, um, and that we would just be all in for you, God, um, that we would be all in for you and that we would surrender to you, that we would trust in you, that we would pray to you, that we would worship you, that, that we would run to you, God, when times are difficult, but when times are good too, Lord, may we run to you, may we praise you, may we find time with you in our secret closet, just like Daniel did, that, that he went three, it says, um, now when Daniel learned that the decree had been published, he went home to his upstairs room where the windows opened toward Jerusalem and three times a day he prayed, Lord, may we, um, be people of prayer and we know Lord that prayer reaches, it reaches your heart, God, and that you delight when your children come to you in prayer and you delight when your children come to you and seek you with all of our heart, God. Lord, may nothing sway us. May nothing in this world sway us, God. May we be strong, rooted in you, God, and may we live a life that is devoted to you and different than, than the way other people are living their life, God. May we walk in favor with you. And we trust that, that you will be with us, protecting us, God. And we thank you for your many blessings. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Have a great day.